Today's video is sponsored by Sophie and Toffee. Hey Greens, by now it is no surprise that I am a huge fan of fidget toys. Add the element of a mystery box and um, the lowest rating on Amazon. And I think this is a perfect recipe for you to watch me break my heart and suffer and cry. That's, that's basically what this channel is about now. It's about you enjoying me go through experiences. <laughs> <clears throat> Basically, all this to say that I took the lowest rated advent calendar on Amazon, which is a mystery box, basically fidget toy kind of thing. Previously, I've done numerous fidget toy mystery boxes, so if you're curious to see them, th these are what basically the thumbnails look like. And I have to say, some of them were amazing, and I was like, <laughs> and others that was like, the interesting thing is that I got this from Amazon and it was rated about two on five stars, so just two stars. However, when I went to get a screenshot of the, the actual posting, they took it down, which means the rating got even low enough so that even Amazon's like, bro, we ain't selling that. But looking at other fidget toy advent calendars, this one here has only three reviews at two stars. The one that I've got was about 43-ish reviews. And another one at two reviews has one star. So I'm not sure what to expect from this one, especially looking at the front of the box. We don't really get an indication of what's inside, but there are hints kind of scattered a little bit of everywhere. Kind of like that space ball near the tree. Or even under the gifts, we see these squishy type things. And even near the house, we have an infinity cube, which is one of my favorites. And then right under Santa's sleigh, we see that there's a unicorn flexible thing, thingy, thingy bobs. Oops. <laughs> so if this actually does deliver what's on the box, we should be okay. Right? So you and I, we together on this. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there. I do have sharp pointy things, so if you're scared of them, don't worry, you'll get used to it. <laughs> and also, if you would like to hang out while we're live streaming, make sure you check out my Twitch channel, Nerdy Crafter. The link will also be down below. Join us, we have so much fun when we're live streaming. For those of you who don't know advent calendars, because as I mentioned in the previous video, I didn't grow up with advent calendars as an Egyptian grain. Basically, it's a countdown kind of activity leading up to December 25th. So every day you get a mini surprise. It can come either in chocolates, Legos, and yes, apparently fidget toys. And previously it was slimes. Watch that video. If you had an advent calendar, let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite, what did it have? For those of you who want to say, But Jackie, it's too early for Christmas things. Stop! If you need to get an advent calendar, you need to get it now. So that you can have it by November. Don't fight me. I won't fight you. Don't. 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 <laughs> While I was browsing to double check if I can find the exact same one, I found one that has five stars with one review, but the items in there look really different. We have a skateboard, we have a little octopus kind of toy, so I'm really curious. I feel like it's probably going to be mostly false advertisement, and that's why they have a bajillion of them posted on Amazon, and then taken down, and then posted again, and then taken down, and posted again, and then taken down, and then posted again, and then taken down. Without further delay, Let's see what we get inside. Where's number one? This is so confusing. Number one, where you be? Okay, here is number one. This is going to basically set the tone for the entire video. And, oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is, I'm gonna need to fish this out. Oh, sausage fingers. Oh, not a bad start. So the first item we get is a kind of fidget ring that you can pull it back and forth. You know, kind of when you're wearing a ring, you're constantly bringing it up and down. It's the same thing, but it's also acting like a finger massager. So yeah, that feels good. You know what? I'm going to rank them. Not by past experience, by current experience. I'm going to say this specific fidget toy, I'll give it a 7 on 10. This is going to be interesting because I'm having a hard time finding the numbers. Where's number 2? This is three. Okay, there's two, so we have a longer one over here. Let's just try and pull this time. Eh. Oh. It's a nutty. Okay. Oh, done so. Wait. Eh. This is really a struggle. I don't know if this belongs to the top one or if it belongs to the below one, but let's just pull the dino. There you go. <gasps> 
So we have a dinosaur, but this one is kind of like the peas that we had in a previous box, except it's a dino where you can push the peas. Oh, it doesn't really push very well. Hello? Hello? Hello. Oh my god, that is terrible. That is weird. Okay, you need to be pushed out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this one is not working. <laughs> my fingers. Ow. So after pushing it a couple of times, then it becomes easier. You have little peas peeking out from that dino's chest. Weird design, but okay. Would have been cooler if it were eggs, I guess. And yeah, this one is just not fun. This one really hurts. I give them points for the design, but the actual usage factor, I would say about two on 10. But I have to say, this is a pretty strong start because they're different things. So we do remember that number three is down here. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, what are you? This looks like a kind of goopy thing. Oh! So we have a kind of frosted unicorn smushy kind of thing. This is very satisfying. And the fact that there's this here, you can also kind of just roll it on your finger, stretch it. This is very satisfying and also really cute. I would say a seven on 10. And because I don't want to struggle anymore, number four, where are you? We're going to pull you out. <laughs> okay, there it is right here. We're gonna get a good head start. My fingers can't take this. Holy carp. Oh, okay. Oh, this is how well this is working out for us. Oh no, there goes the design. Um, I'm hoping this is number four. Oh, ooh. And here we have a kind of poppet toy. Very rainbow-esque. I don't know how you, I guess you can hold it like this and pop it this way or you could just hold it like that and pop it. This is actually pretty satisfying. Look at that. I like this a lot, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna give this about a seven and a half. So far, this is good. I don't understand why it was the lowest rated. You know what, let's not put that energy out there. Let's see the rest of it. I'm just gonna shove this one back over here and down to number five. Yeah, these are not very good. So I'm just gonna give us a bit of a head start. Otherwise, our fingers are just gonna be crying. I didn't think it was possible. I was so skeptical whether we would get this, but we actually did. It is a very light material, so it doesn't have any weight to it. However, it moves so easy. Holy carp. Oh, this is so good. It's plastic. It's definitely plastic, but it flows so nicely. So it doesn't have the resistance that the metallic one has, but this is so satisfying. <gasps> this is one of Okay, can we talk about how I really wanted to bash this product, considering it had low ratings? And here I am being happy. What? All right, where are you, number six? Okay, here is number six. Just finding the numbers in themselves is already quite the adventure. I'm so happy I found fidget toys. I love them a little too much. And, okay. Oh, this one's a little light. Let's bring a background. Say hello to my little felt. So we have a little Rudolph similar to the unicorn type squishy. Again, these have a nice feel to them. They're not sticky like some of the other brands. They're okay, nothing special. I'll give it the same rating. And yes, you can do something like this. <clears throat> this always gets me. <laughs> And number seven was actually pretty easy to find. It was just kind of not hidden by all the other designs. <laughs> we got you, number seven. Didn't cut deep enough. Eh. Oh no, 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 no. Let's not, <laughs> let's not break the other design. Oh, what is that? Oh, well, they really shoved it in there. That's what she said. <laughs> ah! So here's another pop type toy. Oh. This one is actually pretty good too. It's actually small enough that you can hold it in your hand, like so. And it has a little thing over here that you can basically put it around your backpack or your bag. So if you wanna fidget while you're in transport or during a meeting, you have that option. I'm gonna give this design an eight. <laughs> eight on 10. 
Speaking of number eight, where are you? Oh, there it is. Luckily, we didn't tear this one here because it is right here. <laughs> okay, and oh no, we do not want to cut it. Yeah, if there's something they need to work on, it's definitely fixing their box design so that when you rip it out, it's not just ripping the box itself and the other design. There's another squishy type here. This is a snowman. And it is also stretchy. I like that it is basically themed with Christmas time, except for the unicorn. This is the only one that's not Christmassy themed, but I'm not complaining because I'm pretty sure this would be a little weird playing with it in June. This one should be fine, but this one, unless you miss winter, then that's okay too. But I'm just saying weird for me. It doesn't necessarily have to be weird for you. Where is our number nine? Holy carp. Nine. Okay, here it is. This one feels like I could probably pull it. Yes. Oh, oh, I don't like these. For this one, we get a kind of spiky ball thing. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not crazy about the texture, but I know some of you grains really like this texture. But for me, eh, could be also a hand massager. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm like, I can see, I can try and figure out if I like it, but the answer is not quite. So for me, I'm just going to give this, mm, oh, is that a defect? Oh no, <laughs> it just says China. So at least we know where it's made. Not like we couldn't guess it, but yeah, two on 10. Here we go with number 10. This one was pretty easy to find again, because you know, the design wasn't covering it. Oh, what is that? Oh, what? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> What are you? Oh, 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 okay, okay. So I've experienced something like this a while ago, but the edges were so sharp and painful that I just didn't enjoy it at all. However, this one, the edges are not sharp, a little bit, but not too sharp compared to the other one. And it's actually pretty enjoyable. It's, it's basically just moving the thing around. You could make shapes with it if you want, but I like the mindless kind of fidget toys. So yeah, very nice. I like the fact that it also came kind of in this cute little shape that we had at the beginning that I probably will never be able to bring it back to that unless I try it. But I don't want to try. I would say this one is also about a seven and a half for me. Yeah, satisfying. It's not noisy, so not invasive. Although sometimes I like the noisy things. Like my sister, Sika. Ah, no, my friend! Jackie! I don't know where to go! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Jackie, mom! I can't, mom can't see the Not this one! <laughs> Before we go on, let's talk about today's sponsor, Sophie and Toffee, who are huge supporters of this channel ever since I was eating me. For those of you who don't know Sophie and Toffee, they make the most amazing exclusive molds and they have awesome craft supplies on their site. So whether you're looking for different types of resin, unique and exclusive molds, or even craft bundles, they have you covered. Right now, Sophie and Toffee has two Nightmare Before Christmas craft bundles that are Christmas themed that are ready for you to pre-order, such as the Nightmare Before Christmas Christmas Edition or the Nightmare Before Christmas Sally Edition. And you can see exactly what you get in those boxes right on their site. Let's make a dice. Time for resin. Glug, glug, glug. And glitter. Mixy mix. In your go. Time for some mush. Aziz, light. Time for the best part. Ooh. Ermy, good. And paint on the details. Ta da. And they also have you covered with Disney themed aprons. And yes, they are licensed products. So whether you're into Nightmare Before Christmas, Tsum Tsum, Kingdom Hearts, The Little Mermaid, and even villains, these aprons are so soft and thin and they're not bulky to get into your way. And it has a little pocket in the front. <laughs> you know how I feel about pockets. Pretty good. So if you're getting ready to order for the holidays, from November 12th to November 16th, use the code NERDYCRAFTER20 for 20% off your store order. Yes, that's 20% off your store order. And if you sign up for their newsletter, they have big announcements for Black Friday. Thank you, Sophie and Toffee, for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. And 11... This is 24. This is pretty big, so we'll get there. But where is 11? Aha! Let's just rip through it. Oh, that is colorful. That is colorful. Oh, it's a fidget activity thingamajig. Holy carp. Holy carp. Okay, why did this get one star? Why was this posting removed? I don't get it. Okay, I'm really loving this acrylic pour kind of vibe, this artistic splash, if I might say. So we get a kind of fidget toy station. I don't know what they're called. I guess remote controls. So on top here we have buttons. Let's hear if they're satisfying. Oh, they're quiet, but they do have a really nice pushback. Oh, this is noisy. <gasps> quiet. 
noisy, quiet. Oh my god, so you have the choice! You have the choice! <laughs> okay, and here we have a spring type analog thing. That is very satisfying. It has a comes back straight to the middle. This is really good. And then here, oh, these are the things I like. I know it's noisy. But it really does remind me of these old school disposable cameras. I know some of you grains told me in the previous video they still make disposable cameras. I guess that there's this vintage excitement to it. But yeah, here it goes like a so. And then in the back, <gasps> my favorites. You can tell I'm very obnoxious. I like things that make noise. It's, it's, I don't know. This is. I like it. This is great. And then you have the option of just quiet twirly over here. Very nice. <gasps> and it just, it can just spin. Why am I in love with this? What is this? Oh, oh. It went back. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely my kind of thing. So we have this one too. And this one is the same one, so it's kind of like turny, but a lot quieter. This is noisy, quieter. So it seems like we're getting quiet and noisy version of each of the kind of activities here. Um, 10 out of 10 for me, holy carp. I'm 100% simping for this toy, 100%. I love it, I am in love. The colors, the remote, oh my God, this is mine. I'm keeping it in my pocket. There, nobody can take it from me now. <laughs> By the way, I just noticed that the number 8 that we opened is not in fact number 8. I think we opened number 18 because right here is number 8 and when I fished it from the ground behind me, definitely number 18. So we kind of skipped a few days. <laughs> so we're going to open number 8 instead of 18 since we did the opposite. But let's move on to number 12 because, I mean, oh, okay, let's just do it this way. And is that another unicorn? Oh no. Hopefully things don't go downhill from here because we get the exact same unicorn. Not cool. That is not cool. I know, I guess if you really like, oh, he has a big nose. <laughs> Look at me, I'm, I'm a big unicorn. I'm a Christmas unicorn. Rudolph who with the red nose. I'm the unicorn with the big nose. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess if you really like this design, sure, but I was expecting a different design. So if the other half is basically repeats, that's going to suck. And we have our number 13. Holy carp. Did I just rip the entire thing? <laughs> number 13. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, is that a fidget? What's it called? A spinning fidget spinner? Oh, this is tight. That's what she's- No! God, please, no! Okay, so this plastic thing is kind of in the way. We get a very tie-dye- Oh my god. Holy carp. Well, at least you know things won't move. Ah, there- Oh, it's- Is it? It's two things in one. So we do get a fidget spinner. Oh, that is- That is spinning very nicely. Holy carp. Okay, we'll stop. That's enough. We have a tie-dye effect, but at the same time, it is a poppet. Look at that. I love things that have dual purposes. And it spins. And it's colorful. This is probably also one of my favorite. This is a 10 on 10 for me. This is so nice. I've never seen this. This is my first time encountering this. And uh, this one that's in my pocket. First time with this one. I'm gonna keep this one in my pocket. Maybe this one in my other pocket too. I'm gonna just... <laughs> I'm claiming these so my siblings don't go, hey, I saw that fidget video. Can I have this? I'm gonna be like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I'll take it out and be like, is this what you're talking about? Because you can't have it! We are making progress on day 14 now. Yeah, these, these are not fun to pull out because it really rips. Oh. The entire box. We get a tiny puzzle, and we've experienced this kind of puzzle in a previous unboxing. I'm not crazy about this because it takes way too much time for my brain to use it as a fidget toy. Again, I like mindless things, but if you're the puzzle type, that's totally okay, and I guess it's good that they give a variety. But yeah, for me, this is probably a 4 on 10 at most. And 15 is not too far behind. I think we should be okay. I'm just gonna make a little slit here. Push. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this box? Oh, that is really jammed in there. Look at that. 
Is that a second? Oh, okay. So it's basically the same set of this one, which I really enjoyed, except it is a small heart, so small enough to keep in your hands. And yeah, pretty satisfying. I guess if you want to share it, that's totally okay, but yeah. Same rating as the other one. And 16, I feel like the later numbers are easier to find, but it's probably because we're running out of squares to look at, so. Oh, okay. The lines are right here, if you can't tell. But we just ripped into the other one. Oh my god. Oh no! It's another one of these. But this time it's a purplish one. Again, not a huge fan, so let's keep going. And 17 right here. These are pretty narrow, so I feel like they might be the same thing that we've gotten in the previous narrow one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What is that? We have two things in here. I feel like 24 is this one big thing. And here we go, a skateboard. So we get this tiny skateboard. What is the picture? Can't really tell. Sticker is slightly off center. How does it roll? Not very well. Oh, that is not good. Yeah, definitely super, oh, yeah, that is super cheap quality. Not very good, very scratchy. Yeah, I would not recommend this, look at that. Even has the pieces of plastic sticking out from the wheel here. Yeah, this one is a zero for me. Sticker is off, design is off, it's even starting to peel over here, so this is not going to last. Absolutely, this one is a trash, zero for me, especially if you use it on your walls or anything like that to do some sick, cool moves. You might ruin your walls. If you're curious about some cool moves, here's a TikTok of me doing some skateboarding with my fingers. And now it's time for the 18 that we kind of ruined, so we're gonna go back to the 8. Holy cow. Ow. Okay. Oh, oh, I like these. I know these. They go like that. Oh. Very satisfying. And it's like a crunch. It feels good. I don't know what it is about, but it is pretty satisfying. And you can definitely make it into a loop like that. And you could just make it less noisy. But yeah, this one, pretty satisfying. I didn't like it at first, but it kind of grew on me. I'm good. You selected. Seven and a half for me. I'm seriously going to need answers because I wish I could look at the posting again and give you the reasons why people gave it such a low rating. Because this is a whole other level. Think this is the octopus? Yes. Oh. 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 Okay, so we have angry looking. <laughs> what is that? Uh, concerned. Angry. Okay, there's the happy. Okay, so it is... Another fidget spinner. It spins pretty good. Not as good as the other one, but it does have the facial exp- Oh, goodness. We have to push it in more. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't spin as well. I mean, you could click it out. It spins better, but not that great. Yeah, I'm not sure. There you go. And it also doubles up as a poppet. Oh, it has push back. Look at that. You have to push really hard for it to work which does increase the satisfaction level. And the faces are definitely cute if you want more of the expressions. Gonna have to push it lower. And it can double up as a kind of game. Okay, let's see what expression we get. Turn it around, stop it, and we're like, oh no, we have the anger face. <laughs> so yeah, it is entertaining. It does have an entertainment value. It's cute, not a 10 on 10 for me, but I would say a solid eight. Holy carp. Why was this posting deleted? If I can find a reason why it was deleted, I'll let you grains know. <clears throat> oh, this is so destructive. <laughs> oh, here's the unicorn thing. That was basically the same one that we saw at the front of the box where it was with Santa Claus. What's that on your face? I'm not quite sure what this is. I guess just an extra. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, here's the smushy thing. I'm not a fan of these, but many of you said you absolutely love these. So yeah, I'm gonna say it, it could be satisfying to a certain degree, not my kind. But why does the butt have a hole? Can we do something with it? Can we do this? No, don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> oh no. It's like, let me see what I just ate. Yeah, that was yesterday's tacos. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna give this maybe a 
five for me because I just there's nothing for me to do other than just pull it and at some point I did tear these so not for not for my kind of aggression and my birthday date which is December 21st let's do the opening oh no and it's a puzzle no I do not like this similarly to the square one that we got it is another puzzle ball not my favorite same rating I'm really curious to know which ones are your favorites and if you think that this actually does deserve the one star it got I am baffled right now <gasps> we have the peas in a pod so in theory this one should work better than the dinosaur yeah there you go there you go. Yeah, it's just basically the idea that you're pushing something out. The dinosaur one was absolute poo, but this one, look at that. They just pop very easily. Very entertaining, very much a solid eight. We're getting to the last two here. Let's, oh my gosh. This one does not want to have it. None of them do. Oh no. Ew, what? So we get two balls oh, no, no, of puzzle. No, no. <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter. Not too happy about that. I'm going to give this one a zero because repeats get a zero unless they're really special. Or I guess if you want to share it, but no, get your own. And last but not least, we have number 24, which is huge. It's so big. It's basically taking over. You know what? Just, let's just pull it. Holy carp. There it is. A Christmas tree. Holy carp. That is a big one. I didn't say it. I know what I said. That's not what I meant. So this is basically just a huge puppet. So you could, oh, that is soft. Yeah, you can see as I'm pressing these ones here, this one is lifting. Not that satisfying. How about the other side? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But already we got quite a few of these poppet things. I don't know if I want more poppet things. I'd rather just variety of stuff like this one and this one, which doubled up as two different fidget toys. And this one is kind of a big meh. I know there's a lot, but it's extremely inconvenient. I'm gonna give this a five on 10. And so basically here's everything that we got in the fidget toy advent calendar. Holy carp, this is way better than I expected. I really was like, <laughs> we gonna get salty here. But no, way better than I expected. So I just need answers. Why this posting was taken down and why is it that so many people gave it a one star? Competitors maybe? I don't know. If you want to watch the previous fidget toy unboxing make sure you check up here and if you want to watch something a little crafty make sure you check down here until then i will see you grains in the next video